hope you're doing well today. I've got something special for you today. You know, I've had a call from my patrons to do some more intermediate videos, so that's what I'm doing. And this video is going to be about some music theory. Now, don't let that alarm you, okay? I'm not big into music theory. Y'all know this about me. Um, I love my mm, sweet capo, okay? I love it. But for this video, we're putting her down, okay? We're putting her down because I want to teach you a chord progression that is used a lot that you can transpose into different keys. I'm going to give you a sweet little chart. I'm going to put that up somewhere. Give you a sweet little chart and we're going to talk through it, okay? So I hope you'll stay tuned for this and really know that anybody can learn this at any level, but it's really for the intermediates in my, in my eyes because you understand some things about the banjo you've played you recognize a need for this in situations make sure you subscribe down below make sure you hit like and give me a comment tell me what you think about this um i actually put down the capo i know some of y'all are going to just fall on the floor with that um <laughs> but anyway so here's what we're going to do all right Let's take boil them cabbage down, because I love taking boil them cabbage down. We got our G, our C, our G, our D. Right? That's a D7, but it's still a D. Alright, so uh, in music theory, those chords are called 1, 4, 5. Now, I'm going to give you a chart for this, um, and I'm going to put it up on the screen too, but so those chords, the chord progression of the song is one, four, five, okay? You see this chord progression in tons of songs, okay? Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. So once you, under, once you sort of learn and understand this chord progression idea, uh, it's going to open up a lot to you, okay? Especially when you're playing out. When you're out of your home, you're playing with other folks, whatever. Um, well, it's going to make you look like a really good player if you can do this, okay? Um, I have a hard time doing this on the fly just because I haven't taken the time to learn it all. And, you know, I don't really need to because the only people usually that I play out with are people that I play with all the time. And we have certain ways of doing things that we like to do. So I don't really need to use this a lot. But you can, I'm telling you what, if you just do this, okay, just trust me. All right, so one, four, five, one, four, five, G, C, D, okay? What makes that the one, four, five, okay? If we're playing in the key of G, that means that's our root, our one chord, all right? So G, A, B, the four chord is C. Do you see that? The four chord is C, D is your five chord. So one, four, five, okay? So that means if you're playing in another key, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you this little chart, but let me take this up here so that I look fancy, all right, for you guys. And uh, we're going to, I'm going to show you how to take any song uh, and uh, play it in another key, all right? Now, if you're if your song uses a different chord progression, obviously this chart, this one, four, five chart, wouldn't work for you. <clears throat> but it's all the same premise, okay? If you're using the one, two, five, like a two, five, one chord progression or a one, three, five, same kind of deal, okay? So I'm just gonna show you this one time with the one, four, five, because that's your most common one, okay? So, remember, we had boil them cabbage down. Boil them cabbage down, pass that oak ain't brown. Only song I can see is boil them cabbage down. One, 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 four. One, 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 five. One, four. One, five, one. Okay, do you understand that? I hope so. All right. So now I'm going to play Boil Them Cabbage Down in the key of C, all right? Nobody plays it in this key, but I'm just going to do it, all right? So the one chord is a C, okay? D, E, oh, what does that make the four chord? It makes it F, all right? 
the five chords G. So we've got C, F, and G, okay? So listen to it now. Let's see if I can sing it right. Pull that carriage down, pass that okay round. Only so I can sing, pull them cabbage down. Pull them cabbage down, pass that okay round. Only so I can sing is pull them cabbage down. Okay, I just played it in the key of C, alright? So I use my C, F, and G, my 1, 4, and 5 again, okay? This works anywhere, okay? So um, if we're doing the key of A, which this song is played in A a lot, it's A. Now what's the 4 chord? What's the 4 chord? A, B, C, D, and what's the 5 chord? E. So A, D, and E is your 1, 4, 5, okay? So this works, people, if you just memorize a few keys that are common okay and in banjo um, if you're playing at an old time thing we're doing G we're doing A and we're doing D a lot okay we're doing those keys a lot alright G A and D especially if there's a fiddle there like I said so and C but a lot of times they'll cape all that double C into a D Any, anyway use this all right if you memorize just try to memorize g a just try to memorize g and a and d if you can and you'll be going a long way so d our d if we're playing it in d d is our first chord our one chord okay e f g is our four chord a is our five chord Pull them cabbage down, pass that whole okay cake round. Only a song that I can sing is pull them cabbage down. One, one, four. One, one, five. One, one, four. One, five, one. Okay, do you get that? It's totally cool, right? This is gonna make you, I gotta get my capo. This is gonna make you a really good intermediate, okay? If you do some of this. Um, and I hope you can see how this will be helpful for you, okay? Um, a lot of times, if you're at a jam, not necessarily an old time jam, I'm talking about regular jams here, but um, if you're at a regular jam where there's, you know, a guitar or two guitars and a banjo and maybe a mandolin, let's say, or maybe not, it doesn't matter. You're going to be playing in G a lot. You're going to be playing in A a lot. Uh, people like to sing in different keys, okay? So if you learn a couple of these, people, a lot of times people like to sing in, you know, C and other keys, okay? Um, so just keep this in mind and learn some of it. It's a lot of fun. It's not that hard. Now, if you want to learn the fingerings of the song, you know, like this number, out the window, okay? All that's out the window. Your, your fingering that you've memorized is going to be different. So these are songs you're not going to be playing the lead in unless you want to learn every song fingering in different keys, which... If you can do that, that's advanced. That's not intermediate. That's advanced, okay? Um, but, and that's not me. I don't do that, okay? I keep it simple. But I'm not a professional player either, so I'm not really expected to do that. But anyway, um, if you want to do the fingering that you know, that's where this bad boy comes in to, he in to help you and save the day, okay? Okay. That's why I really like a capo. Now, there are people out there. There are people out there that don't like capos. And if they see a capo on your banjo, they might be mean to you. And, you know, I can't help those people. I'm not responsible for anybody else other than me. I am accepting of everybody, okay? <laughs> so, um, if you run into those people and you need your capo, don't feel bad about it. Do not let them make you feel bad about it, okay? Because that's not cool, alright? We're playing, we're having fun, okay? And that's what this whole deal is about, alright? So I don't want you to get discouraged if you can't do this yet. 
okay? Even if you're an intermediate, whatever, um, even if you're really good and you can't do this and this is hard for you to figure out, don't worry about it because you know why? This little baby can save the day. And anybody who will down you for using something that a lot of people use, pros use capos, okay? Um, you don't see a lot of pro banjo players using them, but so what? You see pro guitar players using them, all kind of stuff, okay? You'll never see one on a mandolin, though, okay? They can play the crap out of it in different keys. Good for them. But we play a banjo. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope that you have taken something from this, and I hope you really just have fun with it, okay? Just know that there's all a whole new world out there for you in this world of, you know, the 145. The two five one, the the one you know, the one two five, the one three five. The, there's just an endless sea of this stuff, and I'm not much into that. But you know what? You can be, and um, if if you want to play it in a different key, it's easy to play just the chord progression and play along with somebody in a different key by just knowing this one four five chart. Because a lot of songs are one four five, and I've heard people call and they'll say. They'll call it out at a jam, at an old time jam. Is this the 145 song? Yes. A lot of times it is. Not always, okay, not always, but a lot of times it is. So if you know that it's a 145 song, you can just call up this chart in your memory or call up the keys that you memorized, right? And uh, do it on the fly and you'll sound great, okay? All right, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something from it. And I want you to always remember before I go, that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.